530 kilometers from Kenya's capital Nairobi to northeastern East Marisabit town. In the outskirts of the town, East Marisabit National Park, found on Mount Marisabit Forest, you might encounter elephants as you drive through. The thick forest here depicts a different picture of Marsabit that is known to many as Arid and Semi-Arid County. At the heart of the forest is this beautiful lake, Lake Paradise. From the sky, the view is breathtaking. Lake Paradise is a crater lake. Wildlife depends on this lake for their water. Kaloki Kitavi, the deputy senior warden, gave us a history of this park. The inception was in the year 1927 when a proclamation was made for gazettement of the national reserve, the forest reserve. But until 1932, when uh, the forest reserve was included in a schedule of gazetted uh, forests in the government, that's when the Masabit Forest Reserve was gazetted, which uh, encompasses uh, only 157 square kilometers. The Forest Reserve uh, offers uh, critical ecosystem functions for, for this area. Uh, besides uh, being a water catchment, which offers uh, uh, what is a, acts as a watershed for the Masabit area, it also has rich biodiversity of wildlife. It also offers ecosystem services uh, besides water, uh, also provides, uh, acts as a carbon sink. The way itself coming to, to Lake Paradise offers uh, is, is just therapeutic. Inside the forest, we have uh, two, two lakes, two non lakes. We have Lake Paradise, which is uh, also known as uh, Sokorte Gudo in the native Borana language. And we also have uh, uh, the elephant pool locally known as Sokorte Diko. Lake Paradise has been receding over time due to climate change and human activity outside the park. People around Masabit have tended to sink boreholes in search for water. These boreholes uh, contribute negatively into draining water from the aquifer. You can see now water has started receding uh, in Lake Paradise. This could be one of the effects of boreholes that keep being sunk uh, outside the forest. Climate change is a real phenomenon because we've had those prolonged droughts uh, in 2007 to 2010 and 2017, uh, which contributed to drying up of Lake Paradise. Concerted effort from all stakeholders is what is needed to conserve this critical ecosystem. Apart from the breathtaking Lake Paradise, more than 50 years ago, this park was home to Hamed, the elephant, who gained popularity after the founding father Mzejomo Kenyatta ordered a 24-hour protection for him in 1970. Hamed was born in 1919 and had long tasks that almost touched the ground. He was referred to as the king of Marsabit due to his size and tasks which made him a target for poachers. This elephant uh, succumbed at 55 years in 1974. Until then, Masabit was known for large tusked elephants, Ahmed being one of them. Uh, it was so famous, visitors would come just to view to see the elephant. According to a New York Times article dated 7th December 1970, the order to protect Hamed was issued as a result of a postcard protest campaign where more than 5,000 postcards pleading for special protection for Ahmed were sent to President Jomo Kenyatta. Two American hunters were planning a trip to Kenya especially to bag Ahmed for his two enormous tasks, according to the New York Times. At the National Museums of Kenya in Nairobi, you will find this mountain exhibit in honor of Hamed. Inside the museum, the skeleton of Hamed stands tall with its huge tasks. There have been requests by Marsabit residents 
to have the remains of her men taken to Marsabit National Park so as to attract tourists. Ahmed is a good reminder to this generation to protect and conserve one life. Dan Kaburu K24, the voice of nature in Marsabit County.